Hey guys. So, what did I drag home this time? Yes, it's yet another Admiral Bakelite TV. This will make my third Admiral console Bakelite TV with the same basic cabinet design. This time it's an Admiral 20X122, or more correctly I should say it was an Admiral 20X122. The way I found out about this is somebody tipped me off to a listing on eBay for a set of knobs for this set. And as I found in the past, where there's a set of knobs, often the seller still has the set that went with those knobs and they don't think if it's, it's of any value. So I contacted the seller and indeed he had not only the cabinet, which he was thinking about selling on its own empty, but he also had the chassis, or what was left of it. He had been using this just as a display piece. He found it in an antique shop and he just uh, used it for uh, display. It never even occurred to him that it could be made to function again. So unfortunately what he did to shave weight was strip most of the parts off of the chassis. Also tragically, the picture tube is shot. The uh, cap was removed and the uh, vacuum seal was cracked open. And then to make the picture tube still look nice, it was spray paint you got an off white color. So, power transformer's gone, flyback transformer, high voltage rectifier, vertical output transformer. Uh, so, this weighs a fraction of what it used to. But amazingly, there are still a couple parts that I've been really looking hard for for some other sets that I had basically given up on. One is the combination power uh, volume and focus control which I need for a desktop version of this set that I'll get around to restoring uh, fairly soon I think. That set was restored by somebody else but they did a horrible hack job because they couldn't find the correct replacement component for this so they actually drilled some holes in the back of the cabinet and used some individual potentiometers because they couldn't find that three function one. And then underneath there are some uh, metal shielding and uh, some other parts that I'm missing from another set. So once I remove that I'll toss this picture tube because it's completely useless. Not a whole lot left of value on this. So what the heck am I going to do with this empty cabinet? Well, it just so happens that back in uh, the mid-80s, I was riding my bike around the suburbs on garbage night, and somebody was throwing out an Admiral TV chassis from a combo unit version of this TV. So it would have had the TV and a record player and an AM FM radio. Well, the, uh, the owner had chopped up the wooden cabinet with an axe so the garbage men would haul it off and it was just completely destroyed. But, I grabbed the TV chassis and 25 plus years later I still have it and it's actually in really good shape. My question is, will it actually fit in this cabinet? Here's the top portion. So, so here it has all the missing bits, all the coils, the high voltage circuitry and so on. And when last I checked this the picture tube, it tested really strong. And actually this, this set was more or less working when I last turned it on uh, back in the early mid 90s. So let's see if it'll fit in that cabinet. Well it turns out that the 30B1 chassis does pretty well fit in this cabinet. The lower chassis, no problem at all. The mounting holes even line up with the holes drilled in the Bakelite. I'm not quite sure why there are any holes in the Bakelite at all, since the original 20X122 didn't even have a lower chassis. It was just empty down here, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, as for the upper chassis, it certainly fits. Uh, you know, uh, height-wise, and it slid in and the knob holes lined up. The only problem is it's about an inch longer than the original chassis, so it hangs out a little bit in the back. But the chassis mounting holes actually line up okay, so uh, I think it's just going to hang out a little bit in the back. Not a big problem, I don't think. 
Now let's take a look at the front. It looks like a pretty good fit on the front too, so I think this is going to work out just fine. Uh, the only minor issue I have is this did not come with the fine tuning, or as they call it, sharp tuning control. I do have one in my spare knob bin, but the opening on the back is too um, small to fit over the larger tuning shaft back there, but that's not a problem. I'll just need to uh, enlarge that hole a little bit and it should slide on. Which leaves me with the last problem, which is there's supposed to be a gold plate on here with the channel numbers 2 through 13. Those are quite hard to come by, so I think I might have to fabricate one. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I think this project will work out just fine. Hope you enjoyed this little video on a Admiral 20X122 of sorts.